Hi everybody, my name is uh, Mauro Scandiuzzo, I'm a field application engineer for ST Microelectronics. I'm working specifically to the sensor, MEM sensor, and what I'm going to present to you is uh, the way to update the firmware of our Profi MEM tool, that is the MKI 109 V3. We're going to do step by step through the, our website which tool we need to install and how to update the firmware. So the first things to do uh, is go to our website. So is www.st.com. When you reach the main part, just on the search area, please look for this particular hardware that is called 109V3. This particular Stival MKI 109V3, then is the motherboard. On the section uh, tool and software, you have the graphical user interface called Unico. You download this package, scroll down the page, and just press Get Software. Accept the condition. You need to have uh, a login and password on st.com. If you don't have, please register yourself. When you are in, as a user, in this case appear my name, you scroll down again, and you download. Perfect. When you, you are finished to download, you can open the folder. It is going to be a zip file. You extract it, and inside you have, you have this folder with uh, documentation, driver, in case then you need a driver. At this point, then you install the driver. So what do you have? You have an executable here. You run the executable to install in your PC the Unico GUI software. Next, you accept the agreement. If you want, you create a, a, a shortcut in your desktop, otherwise not, and you install the software. At this point, Unico is here, is available. What you need to do is now update the firmware on the board. So the first things to do is close it, go to the website again, the tool, the software tool to update the firmware. Then it's called STM32 Cube Programmer. It's the first one. You click this, you scroll down, and you want to get the software. So you download also this. You accept it. If you want to save, you save in the same uh, folder than we used before. Perfect, when you finish the download, you open the folder. This is the a zip file. You extract it. And you run the executable. Press next next you accept the license agreement next you install as a default in this path then is the microelectronic st32 cube programmer yes the target will be created you press next and now is starting the process to install the software in your pc press next you install again the, the driver that you already installed before. You finish the process. Press next. Next. And done. At this point, uh, you have the two tools. One is Unico to manage uh, uh, the communication with the ProfiMem board. And one is the STM32 Cube Programmer then is the tool that you're gonna use to update the firmware on the board. So the first things to do is when you have your Profi MEMS, you connect through USB to the cable and you press this button here on the corner, on the left upper corner, and you connect the cable. At this point, if you go to your computer manager, you're gonna see in device manager, 
then the device is connected as STM32 bootloader. At this point, you can launch the STM32 cube programmer. You need to connect this to USB. You press connect. At this point, uh, the tool is going to read the contents of the flash inside the STM32 embedded on uh, the ProfitMem2 board. At this point, you need to open a file to update the firmware. So if you go in the installation path of Unico, installation path of Unico will be your C code, your C driver, STM program files. You are looking for STM ST microelectronics folder. Inside the ST microelectronic folder, there is another folder and it's called Unico. You go inside, there is another folder and it's called bin. The FAU, and inside this you find the binary. You open this is the specific binary for a Profi Mems tool. So you open that, and you need just to download. At this point, you start the process, and you update the firmware of your Profi Mem tool. One is finished. Fine, download is completed. You press OK and you need to disconnect that because now you are working in uh, debugging mode so you disable that if you go back to the device manager at this point if you remove the board if you unplug again the board has been recognized at this point with a common port associated and actually is the common port 3 so at this point, you can really launch Unico. Then you already have installed. In this particular case, uh, I, I have an adapter of an accelerometer standalone. In particular, uh, I have an adapter with the LIS2DW12. If I scroll down, the LIS2DW12 is this one, and the part number is MKI179V1. I select that, I leave uh, the communication with the motherboard enable and the automatic recognition of the common port. I press that. The graphical user interface open with the common port 3 in order to communicate with the hardware. I start the communication. I go to the second tab, then is uh, options. I press easy configuration because the default uh, setting of the accelerometer is in power down. So we don't sampling anything from the mechanical element. If I press easy configuration, I have a pretty full configuration with the 2G high performance mode with an auto data rate of 100 Hertz. I can press the plot on the vertical bar, and now I see my accelerometer. So in this case, I see the gravity is on Z axis. If I flip over the board, I see the gravity go in minus one G. If I rotate a 90 degree i can see then the gravity go in enough in a different axis actually is a y axis thank you very much today for uh, uh, watching the video and uh, so if you need any kind of more information please go to our website www.st.com you can find a lot of information a lot of collateral and please uh, uh, enjoy uh, the experience to work with st.com mm -hmm.